Understanding covered calls in four minutes or less. A covered call is a bullish strategy, which means that you're looking for a stock that you're expecting to move higher. Now, why is this? This is because you're expected to own 100 shares of stock. And then if you're gonna buy 100 shares of stock, you better bet the stock's going to move higher. So let's take this stock right here as an example. Let's say it's going to move higher, right? Because we think we're in an inverse head, uh, head and shoulders. We're showing support and it's starting to move higher. It just broke this little trend line. Okay, cool, all that is good. Now, how do we actually place this trade? Well, very simply, what we do is starting off where the stock currently is at this price right here, we buy 100 shares. So let's see if I can actually draw out. We're gonna do 100 shares. Let's just say that stands for shares. 100 shares at the current stock price. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start looking for calls. If you, if you don't know what a call is in, uh, in, the op, in the options world, there are either calls or puts. The call con, uh, contract goes up in value as the stock goes up in value. Now the put contract goes up in value as the stock drops. So a call contract is betting on the stock to move higher and a put contract is betting on the stock to move lower. So when we have a call contract, we're going to look for a call contract with a strike price around a level we don't think is going to get to. So let's say we're going a 14 DTE, which means that we're looking to buy a call options contract or sell a call options contract in the next 14 days. So one that expires in 14 days. That's what day, uh, DTE stands for, days until expiration. So again, let's say, where do we think this stock is not going to reach in 14 days? So let's say we have a strong resistance here at 431. So let's say the stock won't hit 431. So let's say that is our level. Okay, so here is our trade plan. If we think this is our level, we're going to go to the options chain. We're going to look for a call option that has a strike price of roughly 431 and that's going to expire in 14 days. Once we do that, we're going to sell that option. Let's say that option is they're going to give us, let's say $4.50 for selling that options contract. Now, what does this mean? They're giving us 450. Well, when you sell an option, that means that you are selling it. That means someone is buying it from you. When they're buying it from you, they're giving you money. So they're giving you $4.50. Now again, because you have 100 shares, an options contract is, is equal to 100 shares. So how much money are you actually making? How much are they actually giving you? Well, 450 times 100, they're giving you $450 if you just sell this call contract. Okay, cool. Now we play Place the trade, right? We bought our 100 shares and we sold a call contract above where the stock price currently is. How does this trade work? Well, this is how we make money. We make money from this trade if the stock continues to move higher, regardless of how high it goes. Let's say the stock moves higher. This is scenario number one. How do we make money in this situation? Well, first off, we get to keep the $450 they gave us for selling this call option. Next, we also make money from where we bought it and the price is going to get called away at. If, it, if the stock price goes above the strike price we selected, we're gonna have to lose our 100 shares, but we get to sell it at the strike price we selected of 431. So we're gonna make the profit from 415 to 431. That is profit and 450 is profit. So that is option number one. Option number two is we stay below it, so that means the stock makes money from just moving up, but it stays below, so we keep the stock profits and we get to keep the 450. Now next is it moves down a bit, so it moves down and we sell the stock, but we keep the 450, which is gonna offset some of our losses. The only way we really lose is if the stock really drops and it offsets by a matter of more than 450 because that's how much they paid us. If it offsets by more than 450, it goes down by more than $450, then we really lost. All right, guys, that is Covered Calls Explained in four minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.